Charles Stoberman of Outer Park. I'm here with my bandmates, Patrick Noonan and Chelsea Austin, to talk about one of our songs from our 1968 Slight Return album, one of the originals on the album, The Edge of Town by Patrick Noonan. So, Patrick, you want to tell us a little bit about the song? Well, first, I think just explaining how this song ended up on our, on our record. When we were uh, planning the recording um, and we were all going to be gathering together from our different geographies and all gathering in New Orleans to, to record this um, thinking about what is some original music that we could put on there but that would be um, not something maybe brand new maybe something that we was already kind of a settled song so that we could make sure we could, we could record it and I was thinking wait a minute I, I've got this song that's literally about my hometown which happens to be Charles Toberman's hometown and James Singleton's hometown. How could we not um, do the edge of town? It's really very much about uh, where we grew up and the experience that we have uh, going back to it. We were, we, we were born and raised in Springfield, Illinois. And uh, we were in some cases very literally on the, living on the edge of town, right? Just a block away from cornfields um, when we were growing up. And, visit there. We've, some of us still have family there. We visit over the many years and just seeing how things have changed. Uh, that's what, what uh, Chelsea sings in this, things have changed. Um, and a lot of childhood memories that are kind of, you know, that, are, that I think of fondly are, are in the, in the song, the dinner bell and the, the distant train and uh, the brick roads. I just remember as a kid hearing the rattle of the car tires on the, on the brick roads as we were out doing errands and going to those old corner stores before there were supermarkets and, uh, and malls. Um, Springfield had a lot of uh, great Victorian homes and virtually none of them are, are there now. So it was anyway, it was, when I wrote it, it was a reflection of, of watching what was happening to Springfield, um, but also of course a lot of uh, cities and towns across the country, how they've They've lost a lot of their history. They've gotten hollowed out in a lot of ways by the, the kind of evolution that, um, that we've seen. Anyway, that's what I, I wrote the song inspired by our hometown. And so uh, since 1968, Slight Return was this, this reunion of the three of us from there um, after to celebrate our 50th anniversary of having placed our, played our first rock gig ever in a church basement there. It seemed like it was a real natural uh, for us to give it a, to give it a try. <laughs> and Stephen, you had actually written this song mm, back in the nineties, if I. Yeah, it was the early nine. It was the early nineties. There's a there's a version of it. I think you have that uh, handy. There's a version of it that uh, recorded on a solo album that I finally completed in '96. So it must have been the early early nineties. And it's a, a, a very different kind of a, a, a feel to it. Do you have that one? Uh, can you pull up a clip on that one? I do, and I can. Well, let's just let's, let's try. Uh, I need to get it to just about the right place. Yeah, let's not do the whole thing. Old train stations and restaurants Old town Yeah, so in that version, that's uh, Laura Teller singing. It's, uh, it's my brother, another Springfield native, Chris Noonan on drums, um, Jim Leiden on bass, and that's Jonathan Levi playing the, uh, the beautiful violin. Uh, so yeah, so different kind of a feel, but um, it was a good song. I, you know, we always always felt it was um, 
it was a good piece. I wanted to, to get it to a new audience. I also wanted to hear what y'all could, uh, could do with it. And uh, especially I wanted to hear what Chelsea would have to say about it musically uh, when she sang it. Yeah, and so Chelsea, first I think, personally, I think you did a great job singing it. And you're the person, you're, you know, you're not from Springfield, but you are from a small town. And uh, so I wonder if you could just give some impressions of, you know, how you approach the song and what it means to you and. and yeah. Um, well, I will say uh, I, I, I inherited a really beautiful song. Laura Teller as a vocalist is really strong and has this beautiful rounded sound that just kind of comes out effortlessly. So um, it's intimidating and exciting to follow her. <laughs> Um, and so I just did what I do with any song, which is I read it um, and I tried to ID where in my life it connects. And I did grow up on my own version of an edge of town that has transformed a lot over the years. Um, and any place you grow up, you know, you attach really lovely memories. Well, I attach lovely memories to it. Um, and it became, it has become unfamiliar to me in ways that um, I miss. So when I read the lyrics, um, I got a lot of sense of longing when I was seeing them, like it stirred up, like, hey, I miss this place. And I still go back, but it's not where it is. You know, it's not how it lives in my head. Um, so when I was singing it, I, um, I, didn't, I didn't have as much, I, I pushed and pulled in different places um, just based on where the lyrics took me. Um, and I had a lot of content to work with. I feel like the song, um, is about the edge of all sorts of towns. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, um, I, I took it to a pretty sad place, but I wanted it, I wanted it to also be sad because something was really lovely once. Um, so I got to, I don't know, play in the emotional depths of just missing some place and having really liked it once. Yeah, I think, I think you captured that beautifully. There's a very melancholy sense yeah. of of that and and I have to say that that parallels my own experiences because like Patrick I'm I'm from Springfield but I hadn't been back there for 15 years uh at least and I went back and I I, I literally did not recognize the place I mean, of course I recognized a few places but th the town as a whole looked looked completely different and I think that it's an interesting point in this song that something is so very personal and it's about a very specific place where we grew up. And yet, I think many, many, many people from many towns all over the country and even in other countries, because this didn't just happen in the United States, it happened in the UK, it happened here in France, it happened all over the place. And the very personal and specific nature of it is actually quite universal at least in in western countries and it, and it just hits something that that many of us are feeling so yeah i know when you when you went back i mean you you know you didn't mention it charles but some of your visits to springfield in recent years have been because of the loss of each of your parents in a very short period of time and i think that's part of the melancholy that we have too because these are places that we associate with our youth and the youth of our friends, but also, you know, our families being yeah. young and that, you know, being at those vibrant ages. And and for me, when I listen to the song, I think about those, you know, the brick roads peeking through the concrete masks and the lyrics of the song, those brick roads evoke a feeling of my mother so strongly, being in the car and going out and helping doing errands and just the sound and the feel of being there. It's, it's, there's, a, there's an emotional tie that, it gets to the loss of more than, than just buildings in the downtown. And, you know, and we've seen that everywhere too. I, mean, you're, I think you guys are absolutely right. It's not just a Springfield thing, is that, is that these things of beauty and grace that, that made our towns oh, no. communities are, you know, they're, you know they, they keep getting pulled down by people who, who don't feel these things and uh, they leave these holes. And, and the, holes are the, the holes are also the people we miss as well as those structures. Um, so anyway, I, Chelsea, I think you did a beautiful job in that, that emotional, the, the emotionality of it. You, you got that wistfulness, the, the, the sadness and the wistfulness. There's something, it's like you're sad, but it's because you've got the memory of something beautiful 
mm -hmm. graceful in your in your head, and I, I just love the way you did it. Love it. I just wanted to add a slightly happy note to to what you said, Patrick. It just turns out that both my parents are buried in that churchyard, which is the same <laughs> church where we played our first gig in the in the basement in 1968. Oh my so, God, you're right. We, which was also uh, mm -hmm. the school building that I went to ninth grade in. So it's, amazing. Uh, well, yeah, St. Paul's Cathedral in Springfield is uh, indeed is right there. And and well, you know, the, it, it goes even further back than that. Uh, getting into the weeds here a little bit, but the the the, uh, the diocesan center of the church right next door to that church is is was designed by Charles's father, an architect, yes. and it's on the site of the old Hay Mansion. It's where my grandmother uh, grew up, right next to where that church is. So that there's a lot of uh, a lot of deep history uh, right in that one spot. But yeah, 1968, when James and Charles and I played our first ever gig, you know, and, and Sunshine of Your Love, which is on our album and a few other things like that, it was, it was that, that spot. And, and uh, Charles's parents are right there in the, uh, in the Columbarium Garden. So, Indeed. Well, anyway, that, that's, that's the edge of town. I mean, the, the, the cornfields, the, it, it, the cornfields are now many, many miles further west and south. It's just sort of sprawling suburban um, neighborhoods and cul-de-sacs and indistinguishable uh, strip malls. It's just the same as you'd find in every city in town in America. And that With distinctiveness. Chain, chain right. restaurants in them as all the other towns. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's what the song was about. And I, I'm just so pleased that we were able to, to, to put it together and put a great version of it together with uh, with all of us as we got together for our 1968 album and so pleased to hear Chelsea's uh, the way she was able to channel her own experiences on that so you know we've got another album uh, that we're putting together uh, that will be out later in 2020 and we've got some more original material on that one as well and I just can't wait till we get that one finished and out and, and we'll come back and we'll talk about those as well. Great well Thanks very much for sharing your thoughts. And I hope that a lot of people will rush out to Spotify and Apple Music or wherever they're. Amazon, Deezer, practically you name it, you can find this. And listen to The Edge of Town from 1968, Slight Return by Outer Park. Thanks, Thanks very buddy. much. You're in streets I've never seen before. Faces watching from every door Corner markets all boarded and dark Just can't keep up with the suit